There's just under a week left of the dawning 2021, so it's time to get your skates on and get those God Roll weapons that you should be chasing from the dawning. Well, today I'm going to look at how to farm those weapons so you can get that perfect roll before those dawning weapons go away. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, a couple of the dawning weapons are definitely worth keeping, especially the Glacioclasm and the Cold Front. The Glacioclasm has a great fusion rifle and really, really strong this season. And the Cold Front is a really, really useful submachine gun if you can get the right roll. And I do have a feeling that submachine guns are going to get a buff next season or may benefit from the artifact mods given the Witch Queen exotic is a submachine gun and they could do with the buff. So a good roll of Cold Front now could put you in a really good position come February. So today, here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to gather the necessary materials and ingredients, and then we're going to allow ourselves to focus farm dawning weapons. Then we're going to gather some gifts, and then trade them with Eva for dawning weapons. There's a couple of things that we want to do before we go into the farm for the weapons to make things easier for us, and also maximise your chances at the god rolls. Well, first of all, we want to prepare for the farm, so before you start farming for the weapons, you are going to want to do a couple of things. So... There's a quest at Eva Levante called the Rite of Dawning, and this is a quest that will open up the ability to focus gifts at Eva. This is going to narrow down the loot pool for you, so you're going to have a 50% chance of getting the weapon that you want. And the Rite of Dawning quest doesn't take too long, and you have to do a couple of strikes, and it's all about bringing the Cabal into the festivities for the Dawning. Another good thing to do, but it's not essential, is to open up the multiple perks on the Dawning weapons by picking up the upgrade at Eva, and that one is called Perkier Perks. So you can check out all the upgrades at Eva. Go to Eva, have a chat with her, and you can check out the upgrades on the right-hand side. So you will also want to get a good stash of Dawning Spirit. And you can get this from completing Dawning Bounties. And you can also get Dawning Spirit by baking cookies and delivering them to vendors around the planets and the moons. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to farm Dawning Weapons. So what we're really looking for are gifts in return. So we then take these gifts and trade them with Eva for Dawning Loot. So you can get these as random drops from vendors when you give them baked dawning treats. However, they are a rare drop. So you might get one out of maybe five vendors who give you a gift in return. Therefore, we're going to want a faster way to get these. And this comes in the form of a boon of friendship. So let's have a look at the boon of friendship a little bit. So Eva hands out these boons of friendship every day during the dawning. So it is a little bit like a login bonus. All you have to do is go up to Eva and pick it up. So hopefully you've been picking these up as much as possible. And ideally you want to have a stack about 5 to 10 of these in your inventory. So this is going to really help speed the farm up. And if you don't have any boons of friendship, then don't worry. The dawning is still on for 6 more days. So you've still got 6 more opportunities to pick them up. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to farm a gift in return. So if you pop a boon of friendship in a playlist activity... Then you'll have a chance for a gift in return to drop for you at the end of that activity. But if more than one member of a team pops a boon of friendship, then the more gifts you're going to get. So what you can do is jump into Strikes, Crucible or Gambit and pop the boons of friendship. And what I've been doing at this point is giving people a heads up in chat and checking to see if they've got the boons and they want to use them. So if you've got a team that you run with on the regular, then this is going to be much easier because you can obviously communicate there. However, I've been doing this solo. You know, sometimes people oblige. And sometimes they don't. I mean, Strikes, you've got a fire team of three. Gambit, you've got a fire team of four. And Crucible, you've got a fire team of six. So for my method, I've been playing Gambit as the matches are much quicker. But Crucible matches are going to be the most efficient way to get loot. So I was looking for the fastest method. So Gambit, well, that was really working for me as a solo player. So what you want to do is play a few matches of the playlist of your choice. Build up a good stash of gifts in return before you head back to Eva Levante in the tower. Well, finally, then you want to trade in the gifts to Eva. So now you've got a good stash of gifts in return. Head back to Eva Levante and pick the weapons that you want. So there's a couple of trading options. So you can get a 50-50 chance for Glacioclasm or Avalanche. Or then you've got a 50-50 chance for Cold Front and Zephyr. The choice is yours. So I've really been looking for a god roll of Glacioclasm. So that's where I've been focusing my gifts. Well, now we've had a look at the farming method. Let's have a look at the god roll weapons to chase. For the dawning 2021 well first up we got the zephyr that one is a sword so this is actually a returning sword although it has been converted to a stasis sword 
rather than the old school solar sword. So Zephyr is a legendary power stasis sword with an adaptive frame and you can launch a heavy uppercut attack. And heavy attacks are stronger with full energy. So for PvE, Relentless Strikes and Cold Steel would be really good. And for PvP, Thresh and Assassin's Blade, that would be a decent roll. And to get this one, you can complete the quest called The Pigeon Provides, and you can also trade in gifts at Eva Levante. Well, next up, we got the big one. It's the Glacioclasm, and it's the one that everyone wants. So this one is a legendary energy fusion rifle that delivers void damage. It's a high-impact frame, meaning it's slow-firing and has high damage, and the weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. For PvP, Killing Wind and Backup Plan would be good, whereas Subsistence and Reservoir Burst, that would be the one to go for in PvE. Well, next we got the Cold Front. This one's a kinetic submachine gun. So it's got an aggressive frame, meaning it's high damage and high recoil. So for PvP, Dynamic Sway Reduction and Surrounded would be a decent roll. And then for PvE, Subsistence and Rampage, that would be a good one to look out for. And finally, we've got the Avalanche. That is a power machine gun. So it's got an adaptive frame, meaning it's got a well-rounded grip, it's reliable, it's sturdy, and it deals solar damage. For PvP, Killing Wind and Tap the Trigger would be really good, whereas PvE, Auto-Loading Holster and Volper Weapon would be the one to look out for. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the farming methods, plus, plus let me know what roles you've got. Well, that is it for this guide for how to farm dawning weapons in the dawning 2021. So good luck going out there and farming for those weapons. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching, and for more... Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.